And Miami is getting a little taller. Demolition began today for a new office building right near Brickell City Center. It's going to be the tallest office building, not just in this area, but in the entire state. And local tenants Ian Margul is live to show us more. Like that area isn't busy enough, huh, Ian? I know, right? And it's going to be right next door to Brickell City Center. So if you're thinking, wow, there's already enough traffic there, just imagine what it's going to add. But this is going to be a thousand feet tall, the tallest commercial building in the entire state. Three, two, one. Before construction of the new tallest commercial building in Florida can officially get underway, demolition crews first need to do their work. The new 1,000 foot super tower will be right at the corner of Brickell Ave and Southeast 7th Street, and it's a collaboration between Swire Properties, the same group that created Brickell City Center, and Dolphins owner Stephen Ross's related companies. Today, you know, you see what people thought were first class buildings. Corporations no longer want them. They want, like, we call it a double A building. You know, that really features all the latest. Ross called the building, which will be named One Brickell City Center, iconic. He also said it'll help bring companies to the area that otherwise might not be interested in South Florida. They want to be in the best locations, in the best places, with the best buildings. And this is what we're really looking to deliver. Which Mayor Francis Suarez says will help keep local talent home and bring plenty of benefits to the area. The companies bring you know high paying jobs, number one. Number two, you have construction jobs uh, throughout the process. So construction will begin later this year once they finish with demoing what is already there. But as for when it will be completed, I did ask the question. They said they don't have an answer just yet, but we'll keep you posted if we hear anything. Live in Miami, I'm Ian Margul, Local 10 News.